it going out there, guys? I'm Don. Welcome to Rockin' the Country. I'm doing a song today for my Country Heart series. It's Eric Clapton's song, Tears in Heaven. And the Country Heart series is, these songs weren't marketed as country. The artists typically weren't marketed as country. Maybe they were folk, you know, some Dylan or James Taylor, what have you. But uh, Eric Clapton was rock. You know, he was in um, Cream, Derek and the Dominoes, and, you know, his career. But this song is a sad song. It's a beautiful song. It reflected an event in Eric's life. It uh, was written for his son who died. I think his son was four when he fell out of um, the apartment window in New York. And, you know, Eric's from London. Well, I don't know if it's London per se, but yeah, but he's from the UK. So this was for his son, Tears in Heaven. So this was about his son anyway, so. I don't know how he ever sang this song without breaking down.
can't even imagine at what point in the grieving process that you'd write a song like that. Uh, it's so foreign to me. Like uh, pain isn't foreign to me by any stretch, but this kind of pain is. But the the that simple question: Would you know my name, or like, would you look the same? And these are questions everybody has. Like, what you know, people have asked this question about like. You know, the idea of whether it's heaven, some people have the idea that, you know, you're sort of like spirits floating around up there somewhere, and others are like, it's a place right down here on earth where you get a new human body. You know, there are different variations on the uh, the idea that there's more after this life. But if we meet each other, you know, if it's like that, well, what body do I get? If I die when I'm 85, do I get my 20-year-old body? Or do I, am I saddled back again with this one? You know, these are, you know, philosophical, theological questions that we all have. And it's legitimate, you know, whatever answer you come down on. Uh, we're all trying. But I, I can't imagine for somebody, you know, I know as a parent, when you lose a child, you feel like you have failed because you're the great protector. You're the great thinker. You know the dangers and perils of the world. And yet... I didn't do that. My number one job is to keep you safe, and I didn't do it. And the thing is, as humans, like, we can't think everything through. There's a risk to life. This is a dangerous world. But that idea, you know, if there are no, if there are no tears in heaven, I, well, in my book that I do, a three-part series, it was a, a list of 1,500 things that I did, That was, and that was one of the premises, that um, if you take the four premises, that there's no pain, sorrow, tears, or death, what would that world look like? It, it's a game, obviously a game changer. You know, we get 80 years in this life, give or take, if things take a natural course. Maybe we get 100, maybe we get 60, depending, you know, whatever. Give or take a few years, that's about what we get. And that compression of time is one, the primary thing that makes this world a very difficult place to live in. Um, so anyway, I'm not rating that. It's just so many thoughts come to mind. And, you know, to hear Eric sing that and it being a real, a, a reality for him. Um, what do you say? Just, whew. All right, guys, that's it. Leave your thoughts if you have them or just reflect. Have a great day. Oh, that goes in the Country Heart playlist. All right, that's it, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in another video. Keep rocking a country and songs with a country heart. Oh,